G'day, how you doing? Adam here from Poseidon Racing with another video in the series, which is the ultimate beginner's guide to Zed Run. Everything that you need to know coming from zero experience, zero horses, building your way up to as many wins in the shortest time possible. That's what we're here for. And our claim is that this is the best Zed Run guide anywhere, better than all the paid stuff and it's free. You can find the link to the full playlist in the description below. In this video today, we're going to be looking at taking a deep dive into the genotype. Let's jump over full screen and we'll take a closer look. Okay, so in the previous video, we took a deep dive into the Z Run bloodline. Essentially, you have three main components that make up the Z Run horse DNA. You've got bloodline which is your Nakamoto, Zabo, Finney, and Buterin. Take a look at the previous video for more information on that. And then you have, of course, the genotype, which is your Z number. Z1, 2, 3, 4, 5, all the way out to Z268. That's the one we're taking a deep dive into today. And then in the next video, we'll take a deeper look at breed type, bring them all together, and you get the Z run DNA, which sort of comes together and gives you a little bit of an idea how your horse might perform under certain circumstances or what sort of percentage your horse is of being good or bad, etc., etc. We will go into all of that. Now, the genotype. For today's video, we're looking at the genotype. That is the Z number of your horse. Now, each horse will have a designated Z number. The Genesis horses, of course, go from Z1 through 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, the Genesis horses only go up to Z number 10. Now, just a word of warning. When you're dealing with Z numbers, just because you've got a number that is 10 or below, it doesn't automatically mean that you are buying or looking at a Genesis horse because the Z numbers, when we breed a Z number together, they are accumulative or there is an addition or a sum there. So if you have, if you are breeding two Z1s, two Z1s, a Z1 and a Z1 together, you will get a sum of those numbers, which is a Z2. One plus one equals two. Hey, we didn't think we were doing elementary maths here today, did we? But we are. One plus one equals two. Bingo, we're on track here. Okay, but if you breed a Z2, three say, a Z3 Zabo Genesis, if you like, with a Z10, we get a Z13. Three plus 10 is 13. Perfect. Elementary maths. Again, we're doing well. Okay, so a Z5 plus a Z5 will equal a Z10, for example, but that new Z10 offspring from those two Z5s may well be, well, it won't be a Genesis, it might be a legendary or it might be an exclusive depending on the starting point of those Z5s that we started with. Okay, so more of that sort of comes in, you know, where the Genesis, and this is in our breed type here. If we breed to Genesis, we get a legendary. We can talk about that in a minute. But what you need to know about the Z type from a Genesis perspective, if we come over here, the Z type, these are the Z types for the Genesis horses and the amount, the maximum supply of those Genesis horses, you can see the Z1, 2, 3, 4, they are the rarest with 1,000 horses each. Z5 has 2,000, Z6, 3,000. And as we come down between the 7, 8, 9, 10, we get slightly more horses until we get to the Z10s with 10,000 Genesis horses. Now, of course, as I said, just because you're looking at a Z10 doesn't mean it's a Genesis. All these DNA elements come together. You need to look at the bloodline, whether it's a Nakamoto, a Zabo, a Finney or a Buterin. And then you look at the genotype being the Z number. Is it a 1, 2, 3, 10, 20, 40, 50? Because as you breed, say, two Z10s, you get a Z20. And if you breed that Z20 with another Z10, you get a Z30. And if you breed the Z20 with the 30, you get a 50. Okay, it keeps adding together. I hope my maths was okay throughout that example. Now, so the Z1, as far as racing is concerned, and the Genesis 
Genesis horses are concerned, tends to mean that, for example, if you buy an unraced, unbred Z1, it's got a higher chance of being a championship type racer in the current environment than, say, for example, a Z10. A Z10, you might have sort of a 1 in 50, 1 in 100 chance of getting a really great horse, whereas a Z1, you might have more of a 1 in 10, 1 in 20, even 1 in 5, you might get something pretty reasonable. And then in between there, the Zabos and the Finneys are sort of somewhere in between there. Maybe the Zabos are more 1 in 10, 1 in 20, and the Finneys are more 1 in 30, 1 in 50. And the Tens, uh, sorry, the Buterans are like, you know, great races, about 1 in 50, 1 in 100 or something like that. So there seems to be a correlation, at least currently, with the Genesis horses that the lower the Z number equals the better chance of a racer. Now, will that correspond once we move into breeding? Will we get a better chance of racers if we breed Z1 with Z1 and come out with a Z2? Or is it easier to breed a Z10 with a Z10? And will that Z20 on average be a better racer than the Z2? These are questions that are yet to be unanswered. And these are things or elements that need to come into your vision of the game to give you a good understanding of what the important pieces of the puzzle are. Now for me, I've been collecting quite a few Z1s and 2s. Now yes, that's a very or rather expensive exercise, at least now, it wasn't so expensive in the past. But now it is, because, not because they were the most expensive, because to me they feel like they might be the most important pieces to the breeding puzzle. Now I could be completely off track with that. I could be completely off track with that and have done my dough in the most expensive way possible. You know, maybe the buterans are a better option for, for breeding, you know, good races. And maybe Nakamoto's are hard to breed, but when you get a good one, maybe you get just an absolute barnstormer. We don't have enough information yet, but as far as those Z numbers go, those genotype Z numbers, the things that you need to know are that genotype refers to that Z number. The Genesis horses are one through 10. And when we breed any horses, the two Z numbers are added together to give the offspring their Z number. Now what we don't know and what you need to start working on as far as a vision for the future and what is important to your stable is how important is a low Z number in the quality of the offspring that's being produced? Is a Z2 on average going to be better and potentially more valuable than a Z20? To be honest, we really don't know the exact answer to that question. And that leaves a little bit of room for you to sort of strategically place yourself in a position where you think the game is moving to. And that's the important part. Wherever you think the game is going to, you should be looking at horses to fill your stable up with those types of horses that are important in your strategy. Okay, so that's all there really is to the uh, Genotype, it's not overly complex. It's not overly complex. Oops, I wanted to come back to this page here, the genotype. And I'll leave a link to this page here and you can have a read through this way as well. The genotype, of course, I didn't mention that, but it goes up to 268. So if you keep breeding and adding those numbers and you get to breed a Z200 with another Z200, it won't equal a Z400, it tops out at Z268. Okay, I'm not sure the exact meaning of that yet either, but is a Z268 potentially a future champion? We don't know. Or are we better off trying to come down in ones by going Z1 and 1 equals 2, 2 and 1 equals 3, you know, all the way down. And by the time we get to the ninth or 10th generation around a Z10 or 11, is that going to be the next champion? We really don't know, to be honest, but that's how genotype works. I hope it helps. I know it was a bit wishy-washy, but that leaves some room for you to really get in there and strategize your own stable and how you're going to build that out with the important pieces of your puzzle. Thanks again for watching along. I look forward to seeing you next time. Oh, before we go, check out the description for the link to the full playlist of all the videos in this series, which of course is the Ultimate Beginner's Guide to Zed Run. Thanks again. Bye for now.